So, although MDK has a great, you know, yeah, straightforward they, team fight, you know, run at the enemy. Yeah. All together, we have fantastic engage. You can get unbelievable flank teleports with the Aatrox to get ahead, and of course, MF uses her bullet time, presses the R button, and then laps her way to the bank. A decent amount of poke on the side of T1, with uh, Rumble, Ezreal, and even Gragas. A couple of cues maybe thrown out there from the Brom. See if they can keep BBK at arm's length. And just say, you know, we'll engage when we want to. When we chip away at your composition first. And we take a look at the room. Nothing too out of the ordinary, although Kaney with the Scorch. On Syndra. And Faker, I mean, he has the Predator on Rumble, so he's gonna be looking for roams and things of that nature, but Syndra, always able to get priority on a whim in this matchup. He's one of the few champions that can actually bully Rumble around as well, depending on how well Syndra plays. Faker waiting quite a while, but it's a later ward. But it was spotted with his little movements on in there. And King a little bit slow on the, the push of the lane. So we'll see how he's gonna end up actually wanting to conduct himself in this matchup. As hybrid secret, everything is just really going standard here, Dragon. Blue side clear, Jarvan, red into blue. Maybe trying to do a level two game. Can top lane set the pace? Oh. And he's going to avoid the ward at the same time. And the wave is slightly pushing into Kana. So this is a very bizarre trade that makes Kana not even want to walk up. What is he doing? Oh, he's uh, certainly bullying him. And now there's a ward on the red that will spot Flawless coming in here at level two. Also, did they see him? There were no pings that went down. I think the ward was on the corner there, and as he was rounding the corner, the ward went down. And he's gonna come in here and now notice it, as Flawless ends up stealing that red. His aggressive movements, he wanted to go top, but that did not go well, as we all did see. And ends up getting something out of it. Well, Flawless gonna end up being down now in terms of camps. He is gonna be able to get over to the left hand side, Scuttle Crab. He's gonna be able to pick that one up first. Baker getting shoved in, but he does manage to see a ball. He's thinking, no, this one misses. No! Misses I'm gonna blame that one on you, Valdez. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I I'm glad to take responsibility. Yeah, no problem. Baker ends up using heal. To get away from the Jarvan that had snuck around Syndra and then tried to gain from the right side, I believe. Here's the thing that has been actually pretty consistent in all of Kaney's game. His mana management is pretty consistently poor. Now, he doesn't have teleport inside of this lane. He does still have two biscuits as well as a corrupting potion still remaining. Faker's at full HP. And this isn't the way that you want this matchup to be playing out. This is an awful losing lane state here for the Syndra. I, I just don't even, I don't even know how this is so consistently happening. Even if it appears on paper that Syndra's doing okay, she's really not. Yeah, I mean, straight up going even and getting pushed in by the Rumble. Generally not a good thing. As we can see there in the mid lane, Faker is supposed to outplaying Kaney for now. Able to push that one out, just backs in his face. He doesn't have enough mana. He's tugging biscuits. He's hoping and praying. And now Faker's getting a read that, hey, you don't have too much mana. Let me push this one in. You can deny your back and try to get a advantageous back for myself. He's gonna do exactly that here. He is getting bullied now. Takes the full brunt of that Q through the fire and the flames. He will not carry on, although he is going to stick around here. Yeah, 
And the, the issue for him is that he's trapped inside of his lane right now because of the lack of teleport. And so now, if you're a faker, you're completely fine to just keep playing out this lane yeah. from this point because there's never going to be a point where Syndra can realistically threaten you with anything unless Jarvan ends up making a pit stop in mid lane, but because already doing so much, and yeah, here he comes yep. to try to help her shove out, but this is gonna force Wallace and Kane to share XP, and now just watch as Faker insta shoves this again. And this is very pressuring for Kaney. Yeah, Faker. Faker walks forward, he wants to see how close is Kaney. And he's gonna have to back over. here. He's gonna yeah. have to back here on a non cannon wave. Flawless is gonna go in there. One on one, that will soon turn into a one on two, but kinda taking huge damage. Kitsu is gonna get first blood, and Cuz does not have the damage. Force that fight a little bit too soon, and he gets punished for it. So kinda ends up dying there at a really key time. Everything was super stable. Kinda had teleport available, and so Ixu. Gets that solo kill. Also drags Cousin to top lane, gets both their flashes as well. Now off the recall, Merc Treads plus Ruby Crystal picked up for Faker, lost after for Kaney. Let's take a look at this one more time. Infernal James comes out, Ixu ends up using the Hexec Ultimatum, but it just doesn't matter. As it almost looks like Cuz was maybe going to be able to save him, but not quite in the end. You see that Kana was trying to force it so hard that he just took Q number one, Q number two, and Q number three. And if that happens, you're probably going to die against the these rocks if you're relatively squishy at all. So really just trying to force the issue. Did not work out for the top lane. Cuz getting there late, he was also level five. Just able to help out with the cast or anything like that. Bottom lane we're taking a look at. Very even so far. And real slightly behind. Not a huge deal. And meanwhile, in mid lane, Syndra now with the lost chapter though. This is, a, this is the point where she's able to get priority at a whim. And it's really hard for Rumble to do anything to her, especially once she picks up the blue buff, in addition to the lost chapter. Nothing Rumble can really do other than try to avoid her, but her weight clear speed is just so fast. Yep. That's the fun part about Syndra. You can have some really nice lane priority through your ability to push extremely fast. Rip up is going to go the way of Flawless again. Oh, oh. spot of the flash on in. Cuz doesn't have his flash. Goes to oh. the body slam and Flawless. It's not gonna die, oh. has the triumph, and it will be denied by Ixu. Able to save his life there, now the one-on-one, -on -one. and take a look at the position of Kaney. He's gonna find Faker first, Faker looking for that, but it's gonna be Dodge, it totally misses! And and every drop goes wide. goes wide, and touchdown, basically, as... It touched down, but it didn't do much damage. At the end of the day, a nice follow-up and bait from Flawless, and they were able to communicate that Cubs did not have Flash. Yeah. And they took advantage of it. Everything just really working out here for ADK. Now, one of the confusing things is that after Faker ends up CSing this entire wave, and the wave coming in... Nana. Hold on. <laughs> uh, you're, you're down up against him, so he's 2-0. Generally not a good idea to try to fight him. Flawless, can I, uh, looks like he's gonna try to just get that Rift Herald. And so, falling behind early on. Definitely a bit problematic for T1. Shouldn't have had two deaths end up occurring. Both of them very close calls. Yeah. But now Flawless is gonna come over, has the Rift Herald, kinda. Oh <laughs> not here yet, Kaney. They're not gonna wait, they're just gonna go for the place. Another Windows mode. You said Gragas doesn't have flash, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll hold for Gragas. Now, interestingly, he didn't pop his potion until almost the very end, so 
That would have been really sad if he oh, just died. Oh, that would have been really sad if he just died. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave. No, 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 I'm not, 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 I